Now it's time to set up the material for the sofa. I go to Asset Editor and I click on the sofa material. As we can see, in the Diffuse tab, a texture of the sofa is uploaded, but I will clear it and start again. Right click and clear, and now I will choose Fall Off Map. With Fall Off Map, we can get a gradient between two colors or two textures. To make the material even more complex, I will upload the layered map over here. I choose Layered. And to layer one, I will upload our sofa diffuse map, and then I will create additional layer, and here I will upload sofa dirt texture. And with layered map, we can combine these two textures together. Remember that here we have intensity of each map. We can change that. For example, I can decrease intensity of dirt map over here, for example, to 0 0.5, and it's less visible. I can even decrease it more to 0 0.25, and diffuse map from layer 1 is very strong. I can also decrease it to 0 0.5, and I think that this effect works best. I go to Previous Asset, and Color B will be very similar. That's why I right-click on the texture from Color A, I copy it, and paste it as copy to Color B. So now we have the same layered map in color A and in color B. But now I would like to change color B. When we are creating material using fall off, we should set darker texture in color A and brighter texture in color B. That's why I right click on the layered map, choose Rubin and color correction. With color correction, I can change lightness mode to gain gamma lift and increase gamma to make it brighter. Great, I go to previous assets and let's see. Now the outer part of the material will appear lighter and the inner part will be darker. Okay, I go to previous assets and I will focus on bump. Here I will load sofa dirt map, change intensity to very low value, around 0.05 to avoid an overly strong effect. Okay, and let's see the sofa. I don't like this preview, that's why I go to viewport display, I expand this tab, and here I change texture to custom, and I will upload sofa dirt map. Great. Now I need to change dimensions. I go to materials, to edit tab, and I change it for example, to 55, I think that it's still too repetitive. I change it to 105, yeah, I think it looks great. Before I render the scene, I will focus on pillows. I will use very similar material. That's why I will copy properties from Sofa to Sofa 1. So I go to Sofa, right-click, copy, and I paste it to Sofa 1. Paste as copy, and I want to darken this material, so I right click on the diffuse map, rub in and color correction. I go to lightness mode, change it to gain gamma lift and I decrease this value to 0 0.5 and material will be much darker. I will copy properties from bump. So I go to sofa material, right click, copy and paste it to sofa one, paste this copy, and I decrease amount. Okay, now I'll focus on the viewport display. Again, I change it to custom, and upload the map. I choose sofa dirt. Remember, we can always change UV mapping, that's why I select the pillow, select faces, right-click, V-Ray UV tools, and I choose Tri Planner Projection Word. And the mapping looks better. Okay. I will render the scene and check the result. Okay, and that's our material. I think that looks great. We can notice a dirt map, diffuse map, everything works properly. Let's move on and focus on the armchair. I go to Asset Editor, Armchair, and again I right click Clear and I will upload Fall of Map. This time I will not upload Layered. Instead of Layered Map, I will upload Fall of Map again. That's why I click on the texture slot in color A, choose Fall Off, and I will upload textures to color A and color B. To color A, I upload Armchair Diffuse Map, 
And to color B, I will upload exactly the same map, armchair diffuse, but this time I will change transfer function to none to get brighter effect. And the outer part of the material is brighter, inner part is darker. I go to previous fall off and I copy fall off from color A to color B, paste as copy. So we have the same fall off in color A and color B. To make it different, I will leave color A as it is, but I will change color B. I go to fall off in color B and change fall off type to Fresno. So the gradient, the blending between two maps, darker and brighter, will be different. So let me quickly summarize. In the diffuse slot, we have fall off. Inside fall off, we have another fall off map, and that's all. I will add a bump map. Here, I will use layered map. So I choose layered, I add another layer, and to layer two, I will upload armchair bump one, I set transfer function to none, and to layer one, I will upload armchair bump two, set transfer function to none. And again, I can change intensity of these two maps. I will decrease intensity of layer two, and this map with wrinkles will be less visible. Okay, I think it's fine. I can decrease layer one to 0 0.9 and everything looks fine. I change the mode to normal map and set intensity to 0 0.1. Okay, now I will focus on viewport display. I change it to custom and upload armchair diffuse map. I come a little closer and I can change dimensions. Maybe I will increase it to 105. Everything works fine. Let's render armchair and check how it looks. And that's our render. I can go to light mix and change intensity of rectangle light. I think that it's too intense. I can decrease it and it looks much better. 